What is going on, my future meta millionaires? It is your boy Terry Stonkers, and welcome to my channel, baby. By the f dip. All right, guys. In today's video, we're going to talk about that MMAT MMTLP. But before we do that, make sure you go check out the community tab. That's right. Click the blue join button here. You can join as little as two ninety nine a month for the bronze and nine ninety nine for the silver, and check out the gold if you'd be interested in that. You get your loyalty badges and you get your custom emoji you see down below here in the live premieres. Uh, also, if you go to my community tab, you'll see I have a play here I posted today that I did. Ticker symbol HYMC. It's an options contract. I posted that play on here. I made that public for everyone to see it. And there are the details. But I also have posts down here that you see say members only. If you want to see those posts, what stocks I'm buying, what options I'm buying. Like I said, not financial advice. I could be losing money on these plays, but I'm showing you what I'm doing and you can follow along and see what's going on. We bought CEI stock. We bought HYMC. We bought ticker symbol IPOF. We bought some options there. We bought DraftKings. DraftKings is like up to $20 right now, so we're doing great in that position. But if you want to see more of those plays, consider joining the channel membership. So let's go take a look at it. MMAT had a fantastic day up about 3.75%. We're up 3.19% during the regular hours, up another half percent after hours. We're at a buck ninety-five. We are approaching that two dollar mark. Our average volume is a little over six million. We traded about four and a half million today, which is great. And that that momentum was probably a lot of buying pressure, which is why the stock rose. Let's go take a look at MMTLP. That was up 4.9%. So we're trading at a buck fifty right now. You can see average volume 673,000. The volume traded was 321,000. Another great volume day for MMTLP as well, up almost 5%. Let's go take a look at the premium Fintel and see what we got. Uh, I'm really excited here. Oh, we just had an update. Okay, so here we are. Short squeeze score, 92.88, ranked 57 out of 5,600 stocks. Let's freaking go. Uh, gamma squeeze score is looking pretty good, actually. Uh, 86.05. Ranked 542 out of 4,800 stocks. If you look here at the short shares that are available, 90,000 shares, guys. Earlier today, we were down at zero at one point, but back up 90,000, which is really nothing. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at the short bar fee, 10.3%. It's been that for basically the last four days. So uh, the shorts are going to be trapped here, and they're going to have to cover eventually. There could be a little bit of short covering today. Uh, we'll have to see on that. So let's go take a look at the FINRA short volume ratio. You see here, FINRA short volume ratio is a 46.70, and the FINRA traded today was about 2.3 million. And you see the FINRA short volume, they did about over 1 million shares were short at volume. Uh, we still don't have the CBOE yet, so that's affecting our uh, score here below, but it's probably going to be closer to 60 actually today, because uh, we had 48 and it was 54. Yeah, so it may be like 55, maybe 60 here somewhere in there uh also we did have a let me go take a look here at the institutional owners good shares outstanding are still 284 million so no update on that and our ownership accumulation score is a 90.05 all right so what i wanted to do next is go take a look at the oil prices and as we see here oil prices are currently at wti crude at 111 dollars and Brent Cruz at 114. So oil is still up there. So that's still kind of bullish for our dividend. I'm going to go over some information over here on Twitter. Ehor, which is the Managing Director of Predictive Analytics for S3 Partners. He was active today and we got some MMAT short interest from the S3 uh, platform. So here you can see short interest is 95 million. 50.28 million shares are shorted. 21.26% of the short interest afloat. 17.53 S3 short interest to float, 4.82% fee. Uh, shares shorted are down 244,000 worth 459,000, uh, negative 0.48% over the last week. Shorts are up 14 million on 2022 mark to market profits, including a negative 3 million on today's 3.9% move. So that doesn't seem far off, guys. So if we look here on this chart from what he's saying, if we move about 3%, the shorts are losing $3 million. So it kind of looks like it's running like if we move a percent, they lose a million. That's kind of crazy to sit there and think about it, but that's kind of the math on this here. Uh, that could change as share price increases, but just using as a general rule of thumb, 
if this thing can move up, let's say another 14 to 20 cents, uh, we could be breaking zero. The shorts could be basically at an even here because they're currently up 14 million on shorting MMAT. We want them shorts to pay. We want to, as George said, torch the shorts and the dividend should be right around the freaking corner. So we need George to come out with this announcement. Well, like I said, I know we're not going to get the presentation here in March, but we need some kind of press release, some kind of announcement stating when are we going to get some kind of official news. I just want that to be uh, clear. George needs to come out and say, we're going to present it April 20th. We're going to present it June 20th. We just need to have a date in mind that we could look forward to to get the presentation. I'm sure there's some, I'm sure it's not George and Meta uh, holding this up. It probably is the buyer of this holding it up, which is probably it is. But we just want to get this cleared up and move on, take our money, reinvest it back in MMAT, and see this baby squeeze because we got, seemed like the meme stocks are getting a little bit of a rally right now. So we do want to take advantage of that. I want to touch base here on the tweet I retweeted today. Thank you to Titus here for sharing this on Twitter. And here you can see this is an email from TD Ameritrade with this end of it, concerned investor here wanted to get in writing that MML, MMTLP is legit. So here it is. Thank you for your inquiry. Be sure I got my box right. Yes. Thank you for your inquiry. All your MMTLP shares are indeed real shares and are not fake shares. These are placeholders for any future dividends for MMAT. Our custodian holds your shares in electronic form, which means your shares are in an account are real. You are entitled to any future dividends or spinoffs. It says that or spinoffs. And there it gives the information right there. Uh, you get the person's name, what department they're at, and the TD Ameritrade right there. It says member of the FINRA and SIPC. I have to touch base on this tweet here I did earlier as well. Uh, this tweet here maybe got, maybe I worded it wrong. Maybe that was bad on my part. But uh, the main part of this tweet was just to point out that John Berta, which is the former CEO of Torchlight Energy, he acknowledges MMTLP in his tweet here. Uh, this is a tweet that he replied back to someone, and I actually screenshotted this to save it because, you know, I don't know, sometimes you just see something you think you should screenshot it. Well, this is when I had uh, saved in my screenshots, and I kept it. So there it is. Uh, he was replying back to this gentleman, uh, talking about the divvy and the dollar loss. Uh, maybe, my, maybe I did word my tweet wrong. I wasn't really talking about the price. Uh, what I'd like to say here is that John Berta acknowledged MMTLP in this tweet. That was my main focus. So maybe that's on me. Maybe I got that part wrong. Uh, sorry if I got anyone confused on that. But as you saw where Ken and them saying we can't really talk about MMTLP because Meta isn't really a part of it. But here you got John Berta acknowledging MMTLP in his own tweet. And we know this man has like 3 million some shares or something like that. Uh, I can double check it real quick on the Fintel. But John Berta is like right behind Greg McCabe as one of the big shareholders of MMAT, MMTLP. We know they haven't sold anything. So just another acknowledgement here uh, about MMTLP being acknowledged. I'll well throw this one into this video too, even though I think I put it in last night's video. But just in case if I didn't, because, you know, I'm making videos every day trying to keep everyone positive, up to date, guys, remember MMTLP is not the enemy. MMTLP is like a huge catalyst to get us more money to buy MMAT. That is the uh, plan. Uh, like I said, my price point on MMAT is 650. My MMTL price target, MMTLP price target, I'm going to roller pin 29 to 46. It makes sense. There's huge potential. If we can get that MMTLP dividend money and reinvest even back 8 to 15%, MMAT is going to freaking fly. Of course, you guys know I have MMAT shares. I've been covering this since freaking June of last year, almost the year. I've been buying them up all the time, man. I've been buying the freaking dip. Uh, so like I said, now I'm just buying MMTLP because I believe the dividend is going to have a higher payout than MMAT here in the short term. So uh, that is all I got for you in today's video. Actually, no, it's not. Sorry. Uh, there was an SEC filing here. It was an S8. And I just wanted to show you here on Google, I just typed in uh, what's an SEC S8 filing. And this here says a form S8 refers to a filing that allows public companies to register securities and offers as part of an employee benefit plan. The filing is required by the Securities and Exchange Commission under Securities 
Exchange Act in 1933. The form must be filed before company issues these securities. Now, I don't know if that's going to mean any future dilution with uh, the warrants, which they have been giving out warrants, which I'm okay with that. If we're giving out warrants to get good talent on the board, I'm all for it. I don't really consider it dilution. Uh, but if we scroll down here and take a look, they have a bunch of individuals that signed. Uh, and maybe I am missing part of this. You can see where here's where Kenneth Rice signed. And you got George. Everyone here signed. George, Ken, and everyone else over here. Uh, like I said, I just kind of skimmed over this, kind of figuring that they're probably going to be looking for more uh, hiring people. And they're probably going to be issuing shares or warrants as part of that option where they can exercise the warrants at a later date. Uh, which actually the way MMAT is running, they may want to well, they can exercise them at any point. They'll probably want to do it on the squeeze. Uh, that's my personal opinion. What if all these people exercise their warrants when MMAT is squeezing after that dividend pays? Woo wee! That's all I'm going to say. MMAT is going to be running, man. Uh, if we get the dividend cash, us retail put back a percentage of that dividend back in MMAT. All these uh, people from employees exercise warrants. The shorts are going to be in trouble, man. This thing's going to run like crazy. So uh hope I got you excited in today's video. That's the point of it, man. Get them spirits up. Man, we get so freaking hyped up. I may need to bring out the mad dog again. It's been a while. So uh hope you all enjoyed today's video. If you did, smash the thumbs up. Check out the links down below. And I'll catch you on next video, guys. Peace.